This is the first screencast in the series about the Polymer library. Polymer.dart is a set of libraries, print web components and model-driven views to Dart developers. I am really, really excited about it. And though it's still very early days, I'd like to show you what can already be done with it. First of all, let's add the MDV dependency to our project. I'm going to use this simple model to demonstrate how we can use model-driven views in Dart. The first thing I need to do to achieve that is to create a template. Alright. If I open the page, I won't see the template rendered. The template element stores a document fragment and it's not rendered until you bind some data to it. Let's see how we can do that. Here I'm importing the MDV library and then initializing it. Now I'm getting the template element and setting the model property on it. As you can see, the template has finally been rendered. Let's use Inspector to see what the DOM actually looks like. There is a template element that stores a document fragment and an instantiated template just next to it. That's really cool, but the Polymer library gives you much more than that. For instance, I can define a nested template with an if clause. So the phone row gets rendered only when the phone field is present. Let's check if it works. And yep, the phone row is gone. Let's look at another cool feature, repeaters. To demonstrate how it can be used, uh, let me add another class, company, that has a collection of employees. As before, I'm starting with a simple template rendering the company's name. Now I'm defining a nested template to render a collection of employees. By setting the repeat attribute, I'm telling Polymer to render the template for each employee in the collection. There are a few ways I can go about rendering an element of the collection. One way is to copy the person template. Another one, which I prefer, is to reference it like this. Let's create some data. and finally bind it to the template. Refresh the page and it works. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.